Hi everyone, this is Sam, and in today's video, I want to talk about Prometheus and uh, how we're scraping metrics from Docker Enterprise Edition uh, into uh, Sysdig and viewing those metrics there. Uh, a few of my customers have asked um, for this to kind of get an understanding of what's going on in, in Docker E and get alerted when something uh, when something goes wrong. So. Uh, let me show you what we've got um, right now. <clears throat> we have, uh, as you can see, um, looking at the uh, Docker Enterprise Edition infrastructure, I've got three DTR nodes, I've got uh, three UCP, and I got Linux, uh, one worker, worker node, so three managers, one worker, and three DTRs. Uh, if you go into the Docker um, screen here, you see the same nodes. I've got Linux 3 and Linux 2 showing up a swarm. I didn't put uh, our Cystic agent on, but that's fine. The rest are deployed using a Kubernetes uh, daemon set. So everything is working fine. Everything is green. Everything is good. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, let's stop one of those uh, managers, let's say UCP1, and, uh, and then let's see what happens to the metrics. So I'm going to go over to my AWS console, UCP1. I'm going to stop this guy. And now let's move over to um, actually while that, while that loads, let me show you what the daemon set looks like. Um, sorry, the config map for this is the agent. So for us to be able to capture the Prometheus metrics that are exposed by Docker E, uh, we just need to add this into the uh, config map for the uh, for the Sysdig agent when you're deploying the daemon set. It really depends on how you deploy the agent. If you're deploying it using Kubernetes, this is the way to do it. If you're deploying it using uh, just a, a Docker container, uh, then the DR agent uh, file uh, you need to uh, to put that there. I can link some of the. Um, uh, I can link to the docs in, in this YouTube video. All right, let's go back and see what is going on. Uh, this guy is still stopping. All right, so manager UCP1 is unhealthy, which can cause downtime and so on. So let's, let's refresh this quickly. Okay. Yeah, here's an error message that we see quite a bit. Rethink DB error. Cluster unhealthy two of three replicas are healthy. So how would we see this in um, in Sysdig? And this might take a, a few minutes here, but let's see our explore window. Oh, there we go. So we started already to see here an, um, an error. So what's going on here is we have uh, Prometheus metrics that are gathered. As you can see, we have over uh, about 92 Prometheus metrics that are gathered here. And one specific metric that I'm looking at is this net contract dialer connection failed total. And I've set this to a segment by host name. So, uh, you know, prior when everything was going well, you can see UCP one, two, three, they have uh, the metric is zero. Once I shut down UCP one, uh, UCP one doesn't show up at all. You can see the dash there at the top of the, in the legend. And now you can see UCP two and three trying to connect to uh, UCP one and getting problems. So you can see the green is UCP three, the yellow is UCP two, um, and so on. I've also created an alert which should uh, fire when uh, when this condition is met. Let's go over and see if the event has fired. Actually, let's go to the the alert. <clears throat> And it's this one here. So um, alert scope is everywhere. Maximum of node connection failed total. And if the metric is greater than zero within a minute, um, <clears throat> then fire the alert, send and show me the, the host, host name, send an email to myself and also take a uh, assisted capture. All right, so let's see the events here, if this has actually fired. And search CP. 
um, and, and we see it here. We see it for UCP2 and UCP3, as you can see. And you can check my email. Uh, and here are the alerts that I got in my email. Of course, you can choose whichever email channel you want. But in this case, uh, just to keep it simple for the demo, um, I'm just using my email. All right, cool. So basically, what um, what's being exposed, if you go to this document, I'll link to this document as well. Uh, at, at Docker EE is collecting UCP cluster metrics with Prometheus and exposing those. So if you go through here, you can you can go through that and take a look. There's also, if you configure this as an external Prometheus to, to scrape metrics, you can see exactly the metrics. So um, I implemented that and you can see over here um, all the metrics that are being scraped. So what I did, I quickly wanted to kind of get an understanding of anything to do with UCP, did a quick search. And, um, and I chose this particular metric um, over, over here. <clears throat> And these metrics are the ones that we saw also on the monitor dashboard. So um, there is, like I said, a number of metrics. I went and did a bit, a bit of reverse engineering to figure out, you know, where is the, um, where, uh, which metrics make sense. In this case, um, as we saw, um, this metric here. And sometimes you have to go back and just make sure that you're segmenting by uh, by host name and now what I'll do let's resolve this let's uh, let's fix this so let's go back in here and restart just refresh really quick and where's my node okay let's remove this filter here's UCP one and let's start it. Now, you might think, well, it, it could have been easier just to put an, an alert to fire whenever uh, UCP1 is down. As you can see here, we, we don't see it anymore. Um, we're in live mode, so we're looking at it in every 10 seconds, all the metrics. So yes, of course, you could create a, a, a downtime alert. So when you see UCP down, but the, the cool thing about these metrics, it's kind of like a heartbeat. So even if UCP1 is up and for some reason um, it's unreachable, yet still up, then you would probably want to use this metric instead. All right, so let's give it a minute here. Okay, we still see it's down. Okay, so it's now up. Let's take a look over here. What we would expect is um, is this should stop now, and you, can sh you, sh you should start to see UCP1 appear once again. So I can also wait a few more seconds, and that should show up. All right, so I do see UCP1 show up again. The agent now is reporting once again. And there we go. You can see the legend at the top. You know, the UCP1 is reporting zero connection failures. So was two and three. And uh, and we're, we're back to a normal healthy state. So I hope uh, this video has been helpful to kind of uh, show you how to grab alerts and grab metrics uh, using Prometheus from Docker Enterprise Edition and view that in, uh, in Cystic. Now you can go and, and do play with these as well. You can change and look at some of these metrics and see uh, and see what what they show you. But I found this one is is typically what I uh, what I would use for uh, for that particular error that we talked about that rethink DB error. Uh, thank you for watching.